Hey guys, I hope you're keeping well and welcome back for the second part of our Adobe Premiere Pro editing tutorial, where by the end of this three part series, you'll have a good understanding of how to edit in Adobe Premiere Pro, use some of the key functions and start making really good videos and improving your overall quality of work. We've already covered importing your content, keeping it nice and unified, using the correct sequence settings, especially if you want to slow down clips. And now we're gonna start getting into the editing side of things, how to bring those clips into the timeline, efficiency structures so that you can become super quick at editing, making your life so much easier, along with some other tips and tricks along the way. So we've got our video in the timeline from before. This is our FPV fly through. And the first thing I want to do is because we don't want to use the noise from the drone because it sounds horrible, is we're going to delete that. Now I've got two options here. I can click on mute track, that will mute the track. Or if I pr press command and L on my Mac, it will enable me to unlink those two. You could also right click and go to unlink and now you can see I can select those individually. So I'm going to select the uh, music or the audio and I'm going to delete that off there so we don't get bombarded with lots of um, drone noises and what have you. So I've got my clip in the timeline and um, what I'm actually going to do is uh, now press the C button and that is my cut tool. The cut tool enables you to start to chop up your timeline as and when you want. You can see that's making loads of little lines and cut points. Then you can press V for uh, V for Victor, <laughs> if we're doing it that way, and that will give you um, your selection tool again. Um, you can do that by down the sides here, and again, you've got your selection tool as V, you've got track selection forward A, all these different bits and pieces, but all you really need to know is C and V, because they're the two that are gonna be much easier. So we've on V at the moment, our selection tool, and then we're just gonna start chopping out things. Obviously, you would start to take out the bits that you don't like. Um, I'm just simply showing you what the keys are. I have no idea what I've deleted. If you want to then bring your timeline so it's all flush with each other, you can select it by clicking down, dragging, and moving them over. Or you can click on the gaps in between, press delete, and it will delete them and bring them closer together as well. Now, a more efficient way of doing this, although you sometimes might still need the cut tool for trimming things around, is to double click on one of these items at the side here. So this is another FPV fly through and we're going to want to create an in and out point. So we're going to say, well, look, we want to start this video from this point here. So we're going to press I for in that's created this um, bar along here. So that's I for in. And then we actually only want it to run up until this point, let's say here. And we're going to press O for out. Now we've got this in and out point. It means that it doesn't drag across the whole video. And I've got the option now of dragging video only without the audio, which is what we're gonna do. And again, we're gonna keep the existing settings. Or I can drag the audio only. Or if I go over to the left-hand side here, it will drag video and audio. But actually a much easier way um, for this particularly is just to drag the video only because we don't need the audio from this particular clip. So I've now got my video in here and you can see how that's looking. Now I've shot this in 4K, meaning that actually it's more zoomed in than it needs to be. So in a moment, I'm gonna show you how we can start to manipulate these things and move them around inside Premiere Pro. Okay, so now let's say that you wanna grab another bit of that same clip. So we're gonna select the same clip as we did here. We can see our in and out points are still there. And now we're just gonna grab the next part of it that we wanna use. So for argument's sake, let's say that we want to use this bit here. So we're gonna go in again, and you can see how it deleted the old in point. And then we're gonna again select out, um, maybe out in the car park, I guess this is a short little bit here. And we're gonna go press out, o, zoom. We're gonna press O for out again as well. Get my words out today. Um, again, we want audio only, so uh, sorry, video only. So we're gonna bring that into the timeline. So now we're starting to compile our clips. I'm not gonna take you through this whole process because you just ultimately need to be super hard on yourself in order to get the best edit. So now we've got our clips in the timeline, we're gonna go over to the editing tab up the top here and you can see how it is slightly changed. That's because we've got our editing controls or our effect controls over on the left hand side here. And this is where we're gonna do a lot of the magic stuff. So remember you saying before, I filmed this in 4K, but this is a 1080 timeline, so technically it's zoomed in because the actual clip we shot is bigger than the timeline itself. So we're going to select the clip we want, this one here, and over towards our scale, we've got the option to zoom out. So you can see how that works here. Now remember, if you are filming in 1080p and you 
create a 4K timeline because you want 4K footage, that's not gonna work. You're gonna lose so much quality because if you can imagine, if I zoom this into 200 or 300%, the quality of the image starts looking horrible because it's blown up over big. It's too big, it's far too big for the timeline, okay? So you just need to be wary of the fact that if you're filming in 1080p, and you have a 1080p timeline, you can't really zoom in without losing quality. I've got the luxury of being able to shoot in 4K. This is a 1080 timeline, so I'm able to manipulate my footage a little bit more. So that's what we can do here. Now, keyframes is something that you really want to know. If you toggle this animation over the left-hand side here, it will create a diamond shape right here in this section. That is your keyframe. That's telling the computer that at that point in your timeline, the scale needs to be at 50%. So I might want to create a zoom in effect or something like that. So I'm gonna create a new point here. I'm gonna drag along to this point here in my video. I'm gonna press this add or remove keyframe. I obviously want to add the keyframe by pressing that. And then I want to zoom in to let's say 79%. Now what that will do is it will keep your video 50% up until this point, And then it will start to zoom in all the way up to this keyframe where it will remain at 100% moving forward. Obviously this is a moving video so it becomes harder to actually see what's going on but if I had a static video, perhaps it's an interview and you film something on the tripod and you want to make it feel like there's some motion there, keyframes are a really effective way of doing that and making your video just seem that little bit more premium rather than just having a static angle the whole time. And you can do this on positioning as well, the same thing applies, so positioning we might want to say well at this point of the video we want it to be over to the left hand side like this and at this point of the video we create a new keyframe and we want that to be over the right hand side of the video. Now I know that this is going to use a bit look horrible, I'm doing it for just for demonstrative purposes. Um, but if I roll through this you can see how it's moving from left to right, okay? That's because the keyframes are enabling us to do that. Now really from this point onwards we just move into effects the color grading as well, and we will move that into the third part of this three-part series to help you edit better in Premiere Pro and create good videos. There's just one very final tip that I'll give you before you leave, and that is if you have a series of videos all cut up into your timeline and you think something's not working, ask yourself the question, where is your eye line? Because if your eye line is often changing from a focal point, let's say on the left-hand side of the screen, and the next click the photo, uh, the video is, the focal point is on the right hand side of the screen. What that means is your eye has to jump from one side to the other. And as a result, often that's uncomfortable for the viewer. It, it's, it doesn't leave them feeling nice. It's a subconscious thing to do with the rule of thirds. So you want to avoid that. So generally speaking, when you're filming and creating the content, and especially when you're editing it as well, you want to keep things quite close. Where is the focal point? Now let's say for instance, this clip, the focal point was over on the left hand side it wouldn't work or would generally probably feel a little bit uneasy so that's just a really good little tip that we're always thinking about here when we create content for our clients is if something doesn't work does it work in the video does it add value if the answer is yes is there a different place that we can put that clip uh, that perhaps flows better especially with eyeline and tracking of course most things like an fpv fly through is quite nice because most things are straight in the middle of the screen or at least on the middle third so you can get away with almost cutting into anything but it's just some tips that are worth going over with you guys especially if you're starting out so look if you have enjoyed this video please hit the like and subscribe button and join the community let me know in the comments if there's anything particularly that you would like me to go into more depth about and I'm more than happy to look into doing a video on that. And in part three of this three-part series on how to get better at using Adobe Premiere Pro, we're gonna cover some effects, music, and color grading too. So until next time, peace.